Shh. Our final power up for this mini series is private repls. But don't tell anybody about it. Actually, do tell people about it because it is a very common thing that people get surprised that their code in Replit when they're using a free account is public. By default, all of your REPLs stored in your account are public. And that's fine, that's great. That's fine for most stuff we work on. But sometimes I work on code that's closed source that I need to keep secret. And also I work on stuff that holds customer data. And I don't really want that stuff being visible in my profile. Let's give you this example of a user that's written some top secret source code of a cryptographic algorithm. Now we probably don't want that source code leaking, but because the user is using a free Replit account and hasn't paid for private REPLs, you'll see that by default, the REPL is set as public. Now every user on Replit has a profile page and that profile page, if you click on REPLs, lists all the public REPLs. It's a great way of maintaining a profile and showing just what sort of code you can do. But unfortunately, this user's top secret source code is now available to everyone on Replit to look at, to interrogate, and most importantly, to fork. And once I've got a copy of the code, <laughs> malicious things go my way. So what can I use do to keep that code private? Well, it's very, very simple. Click the name slug, click private, and you'll be prompted with this pop-up. For only 150 cycles a month at the moment, you can have unlimited private raffles. Now to me, that's an absolute bargain that I pay quite happily and wholeheartedly every month. And once you've done that, you'll be able to simply click the toggle to make it private. Back on this user's profile, then you'll see that that file is now invisible. And in fact, any links to the file, now that it's private, won't work for anybody but that user. You can still collaborate on the file in the multiplayer way that you know and love on Replit. Anybody invited with a multiplayer link or directly will still be able to work via multiplayer on the same file. It'll just be private from everyone else in Replit, which is brilliant because you can still collaborate in that amazing best in class way and you can keep your source code private from prying eyes. Why don't you try taking this REPL private and see how you get on. Don't forget the default behavior to every REPL is that it's public. You will need to get in the habit of turning it private immediately. You can also toggle between public and private as you need. If you finish working on something and it's a bit old now and you'd like to open source it, well, click that public button and it's now visible in your profile once again. Your challenge today is very, very simple. Go get private REPLs and take a quick look through your REPL list. Make sure anything that you'd like to keep to yourself is turned to private. Probably a good exercise, actually. Tomorrow is our challenge day, where you're gonna make something that pushes the limits of a REPL.